Hello YouTube. Uh, today's video is about a very important subject and Russian scientists, father and son, and also their colleagues who are doing their best uh, to prevent the process of aging. And I believe they are succeeding. Of course, uh, I am just a researcher. I don't offer medical advice and I could not. I just wanted to describe to you people who are actually doing something in this field and it's very interesting in my opinion. So let me start at the beginning. In 2010, in the year of 2010, in September, I followed a news story from Russia. Here's what it said. A Russian scientist has found a way to keep the human body in excellent shape even at retirement age. Uh, Professor Vladimir Skulachev claims to have discovered an antioxidant that stops the gradual deterioration of people's health due to aging. According to the scientist, oxygen in the human body is 99% uh, of cases turns into harmless water and the remaining 1% falls on superoxide, which leads to the appearance of very toxic substances. To protect yourself from this poison, it was necessary to find an antioxidant that stops the process and consequently aging itself. The scientists spent more than 40 years uh, solving this problem. The greatest difficulty was to detect and block possible side effects. Colleagues from all over the world believe that Dr. Skolachev is on the verge of significant discovery. Currently the work is nearing completion and in a few years we can expect the launch of the elixir of youth into production. So years go by and I didn't hear much about this uh, research but that's because I was doing other things. Uh, speaking in Brazil, Hong Kong, United States about my research. So I want to bring you more information that I discovered ever since. Here is some something about this scientist. Vladimir Petrovich Skulachev is an outstanding Russian biochemist with a worldwide reputation, the author of more than 150 scientific papers. He described the phenomenon of intermembrane electron transfer, discovered the effect of thermoregulatory separation of oxidation and phosphorylation prove the conversion of chemical and light energy into electrical form by means of intracellular membrane prote proteins, clarify the biological significance of the non-equilibrium distribution of Na plus and K plus ions between the cells and the environment, discover the new type of energy of living organisms, the sodium cycle. In recent years, the scientific activity of Skolachev is associated with the study of molecular mechanisms of aging processes. Since 2003, uh, Skolachev has been the organizer and head of the interdisciplinary biomedical project Ions of Skolachev, which unites about 300 uh, Russian and foreign scientists from dozens of research laboratories and universities. The purpose of this project is to develop innovative medicines uh, aimed at combating various age-related pathologies of the body and slowing down the aging processes. The project is based on the ideas put forward by Vladimir Petrovich Kulachev back in 1969. So now let's time travel to the year 2013 and the Russian TV program with uh, Vladimir Posner, who is the host. It's a talk show really, where Professor Skolachev Academician Skulachev discussed his ideas and progress. I will provide excerpts, some questions and some direct answers only, so that my audience, you, have a chance to grasp, this, grasp the scope of the anti-aging research. It wasn't the easiest of translations, so bear with me. I don't want to rush and you, you will see. We will we'll get some other information after that. So, Vladimir Petrovich Kulachev is dealing with an extremely curious problem, the problem of aging. He is an academician of the Russian Academy of Sciences, 
academician of the Russian Academy of Natural Sciences, academician of the New York Academy of Sciences, academician of the European Academy of Sciences. And Skulachev was impacted by aging somewhere in the mid 1990s. Skulachev went into science precisely because he was dealing with a certain problem. It is called oxidative phosphorylation. Okay? As the program goes on, somebody from the audience asks whether the research was funded by the Russian oligarch last name Deripaska. The scientist responded, Oleg Vladimirovich Deripaska no longer finances us. We are very grateful to him. He financed us until September 2008. But when the crisis broke out and he risked turning from the richest person into the poorest person, funding suddenly stopped and for seven months our project was without a single penny or kopeck at all. After that we found another investor, Alexander Vasilievich Shikunov. This is not an oligarch at all. This is a relatively small financial group Ross stock specifically raising money for breakthrough research in the field of gerontology. Anatoly Borisovich Shubais advised us to contact this new investor, uh, to whom we are extremely grateful. He visited Moscow University just at the moment when we had a complete crisis. Question from the audience. If you invent your own medicine against all age, then surely only the richest will have access to it. Do you not care that the world, already extremely split into rich and poor, will split even more and the poor will have another huge reason to hate the rich at the same time? Skulachev replied, This is some kind of misunderstanding. The fact is that our substance, which we are trying to create as a cure for old age, is not much more complicated than penicillin, for example. And here the question was to come up with this, then develop a scheme for its synthesis. And then what, when all this is done, look, yesterday I talked with an Australian veterinarian, Peter Britton, who has been cooperating with us for a year. We gave him our substance, then he ran out of it. There were very interesting results on animals, treatment of a wide variety of senile diseases. And he just couldn't stop his own project and spend money to synthesize there in Australia with the help of an Australian chemist, according to our recipe, so to say, which is published. It's cheap substance. Why on earth? Where did the idea come from that it would be a medicine for the rich? We have never tried to make any super expensive drugs. Question from the audience. Don't you admit that if a drug for old age is created, it will be disastrous for the world, which currently has an already precarious state? Reply for this from the scientist. I don't know what she means. Maybe that there are too many people and it will increase very much. You know, this logic could be applied again to the same medicines that save lives. Now, also Skorachev commented. There are perhaps two views on aging. One view says that aging is the process of failure of various mechanisms of the body, which in the end leads to death. And another point of view is that aging is a kind of program built by nature that can be changed. Uh, this is his point of view. Question from the talk show host. This is not about immortality. If I understand you correctly, Skulachov replies, no way. All the time, as they say, we're stuck with this label, the, you know, the pill of immortality. Our task is more pragmatic. There will be some causes of death anyway. If a concrete beam falls on a person, then what kind of immortality is there? Do you understand? No pill will help here anymore. And we're talking about saving humanity from the humiliating state of decrepitude at the end of life. Don't you admit that if a drug for old age is created, it will be disastrous? Uh, no, no, this one is what I was recovering. Sorry, question. This is, if, if this is, and this is a state of the, decrepitude in your opinion. Reply. It's program. 
that that's my point of view and in general i must say right away that i'm in the overwhelming minority i'm a dissident in this place the vast majority of gerontologists and biologists in general believe that aging is a random accumulation of error uh, that this uh, that it is a complex living organism and it gradually wears out as a complex car wears out at the end in the end everything complicated should wear out on the other hand there was such a great very interesting scientist of the last century alex comfort he died not so long ago he was a scientist a poet and an anarchist and he wrote a book in which he promoted programmed aging and as a motto he took the following phrase i will never believe that a horse that a horse and a cart age the same way again i will never believe that a horse and a cart age the same way indeed the cart cannot repair itself but the body can and nowhere does it say that because it is complicated it must necessarily die it is especially important that we are not discovering any america here but there is a group of living beings who do not age question for example academician Skulachev replies a lot of reptiles question what reptiles crocodiles reply yes crocodiles they do not age large turtles do not age large lizards do not age they have practically no enemies and they grow all their lives i must say and the further away the more powerful this animal is the more it multiplies the more resistant it is to adverse conditions in general there are no signs of decrepitude question or oh, there is nothing traceable reply for, from the scientists nothing question and how do they die they die by some kind of accident question only so reply or for completely different reason after all what is aging aging is not just senility but it is a well organized senility if the organism became decrepit in relation to any one function and died then it would not be aging it would be a very fast process and the fact that this has been stretched out for decades means that gradually different functions lose their previous level and this is clearly a coordinated event question but this is organized by whom reply from the scientist a program that is located in the genome and that's interesting of course reptiles it would seem are something so far away from us but here are the mammals bowhead whale it has lived for more than two centuries and no signs of aging have been noticed question from the talk show host sorry i'll interrupt you anyway but listen then it turns out immortal immortality after all because if a brick doesn't accidentally fall on your head what then reply a very interesting example with a whale i assume that it is just goes blind and that they eventually die from bumping into some obstacle due to the fact that they already see very poorly to what extent this is so i do not know but it this has nothing to do with the aging that we're used to everything else is fine with the whale in order to die it is enough that one vital function is lost if its vision function is lost then it dies five years ago it seemed to me there was a magnificent biological discovery that very few people appreciated we found a mammal that has lost the aging program and it does not age this is a rodent the size of a mouse it is called a naked digger lives in africa digs tunnels in the ground preferably in the rocky soil this puny little creature can shoot through concrete that's how his incisors are arranged it lives in large communes of 250 heads only the female reproduces and sits in the center of the maze question oh, how does it reproduce only without a male or what Resp reply from the scientist no she has from one to three males with her and all the others do not reproduce 
Who are the others? Soldiers. It's like a beehive, but a mammal beehive. And it turned out that these creatures live for 30 years instead of three. They were supposed to live like mice for about three years. Question. Who knows what they were supposed to do? Respons response from the scientist. Because all other rodents of this size live about three years. And they live 30. At the same time, they have no cancer, no cardiovascular diseases, no infectious diseases. They have the most powerful immunity. Question. And what happens to them after 30 years? Reply. No one knows. Question. They die overnight or right away on the go? Reply. On the move, on the go. Our substance, which we are now intensely, intensively using on ordinary mice, acts in much the same way. Question. Or does it increase so much? Reply. It increases life expectancy, but not by 10 times, but only by a maximum of twice. Although this is a colossal thing for mice. First of all, due to the fact that the property of weakening immunity is lost, usually the immune system weakens with age. So here it does not fall on them. So they are resistant to infectious disease, primarily because of this. And it's also amazing how they rodents die. They are cheerful until the last day, run, they have no boldness, no graying, no weakening of muscle strength with age, no weakening of immunity, there is practically no osteoporosis. Why they die, I do not know. Probably due to some stupid thing like what happens to whales, you know. One thing, after all, to kill a living being, you don't need 20 different functions at all to even weaken together. It's enough for one to fail and everything is gone. Question. Look, you say, there has been harmony in nature for billions of years, but the mechanisms of which are not designed for human invasion. But you are intruding. Isn't it dangerous? Reply. I am intruding on a specific occasion. This is my point of view again. I believe that evolution invented aging for its own acceleration. What do we do if we need, say, to take off? We get on the, on the airplane. First we invent it, build it, and sit down in it. Question. And there could be another way to wait for wings to grow behind your back. Reply from the scientist. We would have to wait for a long time, and the waiting could be for nothing. Man no longer relies on his evolution. He improves the situation in other ways. He doesn't wait for wings to grow behind his back. Therefore, everything related to evolution is an atavism for man. If he is harmless for God's sake, sometimes even useful, it is believed that sexual reproduction is also a way to accelerate evolution. No one calls for its abolition, but we don't need aging as a mechanism to accelerate evolution. Therefore, we invade, trying to remove the redundant, what has become unnecessary for, to a human being. Question, and aging is not necessary? Response from the scientist. It is needed, just as a man has shed his skin. Here, he used to have a skin, he used to be a hairy man. We want to speed it up, so it would be not needed. We want to do it faster, that's all, that's our task. Question, not immortality, but the prolongation of youth. These are fundamentally different things. Reply, yes. And even, I would say, the system is too complex, the human body. We cannot predict um, that it will live much longer. After all, a naked digger, in order to live longer, has also canceled cancer for, he, for itself. It is already known how he did it. This is the discovery of Russian scientists who moved abroad who... Question. What? Is this the rodent? Re reply. The rodent, it doesn't have cancer. It is already known why it does not have cancer. How it achieved this? And if it hadn't canceled cancer, cancer but simply canceled the aging program, 
it of course would have lived, would have lived much longer. Oh, I'm sorry, much shorter. So, and if it had not canceled cancer, but simply canceled the aging program, it of course would have lived much shorter. Question from the talk show host. And how did it cancel cancer? Reply from academician Skulachev. What does it mean canceling cancer? I can explain it in a simple way. In general, a person is believed to have at least five natural echelons of protection against cancer. Mice have three. It counts. And one of the mechanisms is that when cells grow towards each other at some distance, they feel that there is a neighboring cell nearby and contact breaking occurs. The cells have been in contact and are no longer multiplying and this limits the growth of the tumor. In order for cancer to occur, it is necessary that they stay close enough in contact for a long time. Well then, there are some mutations happening, it's a whole story. That's not the point. It turned out that this phenomenon is much more pronounced in the naked digger and they already feel each other at a much greater distance and stop reproducing. That is, this barrier is much more effective arranged for a naked digger. If it wasn't, it would just be instant aging. We probably wouldn't have achieved tenfold life extension. Then it means, after all, we're not talking about immortality, but still to live eight to nine hundred years is generally question and then and then won't there be too many of us after all reply no too much i think that the chinese experience should be used here question that is the violent way reply well violent there's some law just like you can't run a red light uh, there is law yes a very large fine is imposed Therefore, demographics can be regulated by political circumstances. But the main thing is to have a choice. Please, you can grow old and multiply indefinitely. But again, do you understand what the point is? I think that what we're doing, even if it's the maximum success, is still just a feeling from what we have already done on animals. It will not be so much an extension of the maximum life expectancy but it will be an extension of youth. We will die as young. Question, externally or in general? Reply from the scientist, generally. Suddenly, in some stupid way, we will die. And then we will find out what kind of act it is, and we will already treat it. And this will be a way to, prolong, to really prolong life. There will be the next stage. But at least what we're doing now, it seems to me, is rather an extension of youth. Um, tell me, please, how do you feel about human cloning? Reply from the scientist. In principle, this is an unfamiliar problem for me. It turns out that people have long known ways to stop this aging program. This is fasting short-term restriction in nutrition. Moreover, it is absolutely universal from yeast to mammals. Restriction in nutrition prolongs youth and lengthens life. How did we start our work? We were looking for a substance that would meet two incredible requirements. The first incredible requirement, if this is really a program and we canceled it or at least slow, slowed it down, is that everyone who has aging, it will work. That is, from a trembling creature to a person. The second prediction is that it will be a panacea. It will treat everything. An old man is sick with this and that and that and that, or and there are senile diseases. They will retreat. They will retreat. Cancer, cardiovascular, strokes, as they develop together, so they will retreat together. Listen further. What happened in the end? We have already done this on mushrooms, on crustaceans, on insects, on fish, and on mammal, mammals. Different types of mammals. 
everywhere we have an extension of life. Now, Skulachev also responding now to the question of testing his substance. Yes, and myself. I'll tell you about myself now. The second prediction is that the mass of science of aging will recede. We now have 27 examples of different functions that have retreated, either stopped or slowed down, and in the base cases turned. And here I'll tell you about myself. I was diagnosed cloudy, clouding of the eye crystal. That's right. Apparently that's what happens in old whales, but at a different pace after all. I haven't lived to be 200 years old yet. So there was an alternative, either surgery or try. I haven't seen, seen a damn thing. Do you, do, do you know? In both eyes. One was worse, the, uh, the other was better. But in general, I already had big problems. I have already read with one eye in general. Absolutely serious vision problems have begun. And I started using drops on myself. Yes. And before that, we had already cured about 500 rats of cataracts with one drop of our substance in the eye a day. It's not an operation, it's just a drop. Is it liquid? That's the question that was asked. Scientist response, liquid, yes, terribly diluted. When we brought it to the Ministry of Health, we were told that it was holy water, there was no organic matter there. We had to send an employee with our private money, thank God, to London, find a device there that will measure it and buy it for 300,000 pounds sterling to prove that it is there. I started to put drops myself into both eyes. A month and a half later, I came to an ophthalmologist, one of the best ophthalmologists in Moscow, who is a participant in our project and often an ophthalmological consultant he looked at me strangely and said no we still need to operate and i agreed with my right eye they really changed my lens after that there was a crisis and i already had other worries but i continued to use drops into my left eye because two eyes are never operated on at once at the same time it is believed that this is a very easy operation in fact you sign an agreement that you don't mind if you go blind so it is in general an easy operation but for a strong body in the sense of the nervous system and then eight months later i was the only one who came back to him in general i'm a terrible skeptic this substance that we're working on I invented it out of my head, myself, and I know the complexity of the organism, and you know what an organism is. I didn't believe it at all, I just knew that someone had to go this way. Question, but there have been rats already, response, yes, the rats were already there, meaning the rats were operated on. And yet I went with complete hopelessness, which means I need a second operation. Well, it's been eight months. Moreover, I felt that I was seeing something differently again with these eyes. When the ophthalmologist looked at my eye, he said, what did you do with it? I said, what? He said, cataract. It doesn't disappear. It can be stopped or slowed down, but it doesn't disappear at all, the cataract. Question. It disappeared? Reply from the scientist. Disappeared. The way it disappeared in our rats, I had a suspicion that I was already an old rat because cataracts did not disappear in very old rats. There is a point of no return. Therefore, the company does not guarantee that everything will be satisfactory, that your cataract will disappear. But you should try it if you decide to have an operation. That's what the academician said. I had the right to do it on myself. It turns out that the inventor can try it on himself without any permission. Question. You can try on yourself, on others of course not. Re reply. Uh, on others no, of course. They say that you, if you are brave, then you can also try on your wife, but I don't know. But anyway, I tried it on myself. 
It's been two years. I keep using drops. I know that on rats, when stop using drops, everything appeared again. That's why I'm now using eye drops twice a day. And everything is fine. Um, moreover, my eyesight has improved so much that I already have eyeglasses on my right eye for reading. And I one and I have diopters on my left. Question. What do you think is your main trait? Reply from Academician Skulachev. I think it's an interest in the unknown. Okay. So we leave this and now we travel forward in time and let's look at what uh, the son of Academician Skulachev had to say in interviews to Russian media in the year 2018. Perhaps this is the cure of aging. Biologist Skulachev statements about the prolongation of youth, mutations, and the harm of oxygen. A cure for the old age may appear in pharmacies in two or three years. Maxim Skulachev, director of the MITRE Engineering Research Institute of Moscow State University, said the following in his interviews. According to him, work on the drug was started in Russia several years ago. Innovative biotechnology is based on the method of blocking free radicals in mitochondria using a special science substance. According to the scientists, in the foreseeable future, a person will be able to extend the period of youth of the body by twice. Recently, there have been many publications in the media that humanity will soon overcome aging. How much does this correspond to reality? This is what he was asked. And Maxim Skolachev replied, more often it's just media noise. Serious scientists in general have not dealt with the problem of aging for a long time. It was indecent. For many, the fight against aging is like the invention of a perpetual motion machine, an absurd and hopeless thing. But the paradigm, paradigm changed 10 years ago, including thanks to our project. Why do we age and when does this process start in the body? Response. There is no answer to the question, why are we getting old? There is a hypothesis according to which our genes have a program that starts in a person um, at 12 to 14 years old. Obvious signs of aging appear by the age of 30, for example, muscle aging. The peak of a person's muscular form is 25 years old. At the age of 14, a person has a peak of immunity. Since immunity is the cornerstone of our body, we believe that after puberty, that is, the peak of immunity, the aging process begins. Why is this happening? It may seem that we are given a certain charge of health until the age of 14, and then it is spent for about 70 years. From the point of view of biology, this is very strange. We believe that this is not the case, and a special program is launched in our body at the age of 14, the purpose of which is to bring us to the grave. There are several ways to which this malicious program operates. One of them is the gradual production of poison inside the cell, in the mitochondria, our energy stations. For example, when we drink sweet tea and inhale oxygen, the mitochondria store the energy we need for life because of the oxidation of sugar with oxygen. But in the same mitochondria, part of the oxygen turns into a terrible poison, free radicals that damage the cell. This can also lead to the DNA mutation. We will intervene in this process with the help of our developments. Question, in what way? Reply, substances with which we work and which were invented by academician Vladimir Petrovich Kulachev consist of two components. One is the ion that delivers the substance inside the mitochondria. American biochemists call them Skulachev ions. An antioxidant is attached to such an ion which neutralizes free radicals. The substance was named SKQ. As a result, we get a tool that can directly regulate the amount of free radicals in mitochondria. 
These radicals, as we believe, play a major role in the aging of the body and the development of many age-related diseases. Question. So far, only eye drops and several cosmetics have been created on the basis of scourge of ions to preserve the youth of the skin. Why did you choose these drugs? Reply. We started giving small doses of SKQ to aging animals, a certain type of rat, to see if their life expectancy would increase. One of the effects of this experiment was that the animals did not go blind with age. This inspired us to create eye drops. They have passed all stages of certification and clinical trials in Russia and the United States. Since 2015, they have appeared in pharmacies. They have two indications for us, um, for you so far, dry eye syndrome and cataract. Recently, we found out that some ladies use our anti-aging skin drops, but they are not suitable for these purposes. There are very few SKQ. And we made a cosmetic product, product in which the dosage of schoolage of ions is 40 times greater. This allows the antioxidant to penetrate into the deep layers of the epidermis and reach living cells. However, in order to seriously engage in cosmetology, you need your own line of cosmetics. And we didn't really do this because Academician Skulachev forbid us to be distracted by cosmetics and demanded that we work on medicines for the whole body and not just uh, for the skin. We're working on a systematic action drug and it will be medicine. So you are not considering signing a contract with a cosmetics company? Reply, not yet. A question. A year ago, an article was published in the journal Aging, which stated that the Stockholm University successfully tested your drug to slow down aging on mice. Uh, the oral SKQ1 solution is currently undergoing clinical trials. When can the cure for old age appear in pharmacies? Reply. Perhaps this is the cure for old age. It will appear in pharmacies in two or three years. We have now completed the first phase, phase of trials on healthy volunteers, but more research is needed. First, we will test the drug on elderly people, and then we will lower the age limit. Interestingly, interestingly the drug has no side effects yet. After a day, it is completely eliminated from the body. Usage can be terminated at any time without consequences, but to achieve the desired effect, the drug must be used constantly. It is necessary that the substance is always in the mitochondria. Question. Your project is treated differently. Both positive and negative reviews about your work appear in the media. How do you react to, this, to the criticism? Reply. We are criticized on the basis of fashionable articles. After reading the light version of our work in some media, uh, journalists focus on the most provocative statements, such as, we will play football until 300 years old, etc. Such statements do not stand up to serious scientific criticism. More than 200 articles about SKQ have already been published in international scientific journals. It is much more difficult to criticize them. Question. How do you feel about the usage, the use of stem cells? What are the advantages of the antioxidant approach compared, for example, with gene therapy? Reply. I am very wary of gene therapy. Unlike it, our approach is reversible. But if you have changed the genes in your body, then it is forever. Rewind everything back in case of side effects will not work. Of course, the most cardinal way to combat aging is to replace genes in the body, as it happened in nature in naked diggers, the rodents of the digger family. But there is no such technology yet. Question. Speaking of naked diggers, a whole colony of these rodents appeared at the Moscow State University for the first time in Russia. Why are these animals so interesting for researchers? 
reply from the scientist. Diggers are the cornerstone, cornerstone in proving that life without all age is possible. This creature is ageless. <coughs> its relatives live two or three years, and it lives ten times longer. At the same time, mortality does not increase with age in naked diggers, as does the frequency of senile diseases. Um, if not Superman, then Super Mouse, it does not suffer from cancer, has amazing regenerating abilities. We have been studying them for only a year and a half, primarily their mitochondria. The diggers took root, brought offspring. The most important thing is that we have not observed a single case of senile pathology during this time. If you believe the scientific literature, then we will not register anything with them for the next 10 to 15 years either. But this needs to be checked. Question. Your project has several sponsors, including businessman Oleg Deripaska. Well, why did he stop funding research? It coincided with the crisis of 2008. He lost a lot of money and he was not up to supporting risky scientific research. But we did not disappear. We received investments from two private investors and the Rus Nano Corporation, which took over half of the investment burden until 2016. How expensive is your research? This is the question to the scientist. And he responds, on, on the one hand, they're very, they're very expensive. On the other hand, all investments in our project are equivalent to the salary of one average soccer striker player of the top club of the Russian Premier League for five years. Question. Today many wealthy people are simply obsessed with rejuvenation issues. It was probably not difficult to find an investor. Reply. Of course, their interest in this idea help us look for money. A smart person understands that you cannot buy health, but there is also a flip side of the coin. If you have money, you are constantly approached by a lot of half-witted enthusiasts who allegedly found the secret to fighting aging and they only need 50 million dollars to set up production. Question. You said that the cure for aging will arrive in pharmacies in two or three years. And will it be affordable for ordinary mortals? Reply. Yes, it will. Although I cannot say exactly how much it will cost yet, but I'm sure that its price will be reasonable and everyone will be able to afford to buy this drug. Question. Do Western companies show interest in your developments? Reply. There is a serious interest from foreign pharmaceutical companies. First of all, to the eye drops, because they have completed a full cycle of clinical trials. Question. <clears throat> Do you receive support for your research at the state level, meaning Russia? A response. Yes. The Moscow State University played an exceptional role in our project. Since all investors were somehow found with the help of the university management. And first of all, the rector. Uh, several times we had severe crises related to the lack of money. And Viktor Sadovnichny always came to our aid. Question. Do you have direct competitors in the West? Reply. Now the Americans have started a big project based on mitochondrial antioxidants. They managed to attract huge investments. They have also launched a series of clinical trials. However, they do not directly talk about aging, focusing on concomitant diseases. These are our competitors. Question. How will the drug you are developing change the life of mankind? Reply. It can greatly reduce the incidence of age-related diseases, although it will not completely rid humanity of them. Also, if our, our hypothesis is confirmed, it will give a chance to prolong youth at least twice. Now, or twice, twice as much. Now, it is believed that the extreme mark of the body's youth is 45 years. Thus, it will be possible to extend youth to 90 years. Okay, so we'll finish with that. Now, let's travel to the year 2021. 
Here's what I found, a scientific publication dated September 17, 2021. And I'll just read ex excerpts from it. Uh, but to me, they're interesting. I mean, you can do your own research. Mito engineering in ophthalmology. Traditional high interest of ophthalmologists to glaucoma is explained by its leading position in the sad statistics of irreversible blindness and poor eyesight. An increase in anteocular pressure forms a base for its development, eventually leading to death of ocular nerve fibers and loss of visual functions. It is therefore essential to create drugs for neuron support in patients and prevention of death of these cells. A group of Russian scientists from the Moscow State University and Institute of Biophysics of the USSR Academy of Sciences, today the Russian Academy of Sciences, on the brink of the 1960s and 1970s, made a discovery which served as a basis for creation of a new class of drugs. We hope that the use of these drugs will promote a significant reduction of blindness among glaucoma patients in the near future. Um, now, about MITRE Engineering today and tomorrow in the same publication. As a result, the efficiency of MITRE Engineering as a means to fight against mitochondrial ROS was approved in 2005. The possibilities to realize the new approach in practice were confirmed. It has turned out that the S KQ1 easily penetrates through membranes of cells and mitochondria, selectively accumulates in the latter. Experimental treatment of glaucoma by SKQ1 in model systems on animals was carried out in 2005-2009, and the results were promising. A new preparation form, Wisomitten eye drops, has been created. Clinical trials of these eye drops were carried out in 2010 at several ophthalmological institutes in Russia. In addition, official preclinical trials are starting within the framework of the project in the United States in order to get permission for clinical trials in other countries. All this means that SKQ1 can be widely used in clinical medicine. In addition, studies of the role and significance of free oxygen radicals and meta metabolic disorders has shown that they are involved in pathogenes pathogenesis of almost 100 diseases. Each of these diseases is associated with high levels of free radicals and their oxidation products in the cell mitochondria of various tissues. At present, experiments are in progress within the framework of the investment project Practical Use of Schoolage of Ions. About 300 scientists working in 40 groups in more than 20 centers of Russia, USA, and Sweden participate in the project. The results indicate that SKQ1 inhibits the development of ocular and cardiovascular diseases, aging of the reproductive system, Emerges, emergence of malignant tumors prolongs the lifespan of animals of various species. The work was supported by a grant of the President of the Russian Federation. Look, for those who want to know more about mitochondria, here's what I have. Mitochondria uh, are membrane-bound cell organelles. Um, that generate most of the chemical energy needed to power the cells by chemical reactions. Chemical energy produced by the mitochondria is stored in a small molecule called adenosine triphosphate, ATP. Mitochondria contain their own small chromosomes. Generally, mitochondria and therefore mitochondrial DNA are inherited only from the mother. Look. You have to do your own research, and I'm sure you can find out more. But I was interested in those strange animals from Africa. So here's what I have. It's not complete information, but it's interesting. Naked digger, Latin, heterocephalus glaber, a small rodent living in uh, eastern Africa and uh, semi-deserts 
dry plains of Ethiopia, Somalia, and Kenya. An amazing animal that has collected physiological abilities unique to a mammal and striking in its social organization, which is completely unusual for representatives of the animal kingdom. The animal looks like either a large newly born rat or a bold miniature mole. The body structure of the animal is adapted to the underground lifestyle. Unique features, it is difficult to find a mammal that has that can compete with a naked mole rat by the number of amazing features of the functioning of its life systems. Cold bloodedness. Um, like reptiles and rep uh, ex they can only adapt to surrounding temperature, lack of sensitivity to pain, the ability to live in conditions of oxygen deficiency. Um, and the body of animal is protected from tumors and cancers. Um, thanks to this exceptional feature, scientists are actively exploring naked diggers. It was possible to find out that the reason for such a barrier against cancer is the unusual hyaluronic acid contained in the animal's body. Um, as you know, the function of this acid is to reduce the permeability in the microbial, microbial tissue as well as uh, maintain the elasticity of the skin and regulate water balance. So, scientists suggest that this is evolutionary transformation associated with the need to increase the skin's elasticity and the joint's elasticity of animals so that they can easily move along the narrow corridors of their underground labyrinths. The ability to live forever young. Almost everyone knows the reason for the aging of body, the reason for the aging of body cells. This is due to free radicals that occur during the inhalation of oxygen, which oxidizes the membrane of the cells and DNA. But here a unique animal is protected from such harmful effects. His cells calmly withstand oxidative processes for a single decade. Also, it is reported, I don't know, but this is reported, the ability to do without water, uh, that they don't need to drink water, and the ability to move to any direction. I, I think to find out more about these animals, you, you have to do your own research. I trust that we'll find out more about the research of uh, academician Skulachev, his son, and their colleagues. It's very interesting. I have not heard much about it anywhere, but I concentrate my efforts mostly on the Russian uh, media. So let's stay tuned and see what happens. If you can support my research, there are links in the description to this video, and I'll try to bring you more videos in the future, including the such interesting news from the world of medicine as well. Uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel, please uh, um, tell others, and um, I hope to speak to you soon.